The Galarian Expedition event in Pokemon Go has been taken over by Team Rocket. And what does that mean for you guys? Well, obviously, as you've seen, there is going to be Team Rocket everywhere. But that's not all, guys, because not only do we have Team Rocket, there's been some change-ups, we have some bonuses, and then most importantly, the leaders have new Pokemon and two new shinies, one old one. That's amazing. So we're going to get into all of the Rocket lineups that you can have in Pokemon Go for the next couple months. So welcome to the Trainer Club. Here we go. So for the expedition event, and if you guys are outside of the expedition event, all this rocket information will be prevalent and available until there is another event where change-ups happen. But as of right now, what you guys can do is TM away frustration. So all you have to do to find these Pokemon is search with the at sign and then type frustration after it and then all of the moves that have frustration in your shadow Pokemon will pop up. I suggest if you guys have any PvP Pokemon that you get rid of those, that if you have any maybe legendaries that you might potentially power up, you get rid of those. And then for me, most of my shiny shadow Pokemon, I just TM away frustration just to have them TM'd away. Not that I'm gonna do anything with them, but it's just something that I've always done and something that I have done. And if you guys do want to know about your shadow Pokemon's IVs for PvP, and if they are good or not, check out pvpoke.com, great resource for you there. And obviously with this event, there's a ton of shadow Pokemon, so please Please take advantage of all the shadow Pokemon. You could stack up on all of your 12, 12 kilometer eggs. You can hatch them to get you more Stardust. And you have balloons coming in quite frequently. So if even if you don't have leaders, usually during these events, the leaders are a little bit less prevalent. You can catch them off of the balloon, stack up on those eggs, put on a star piece, hatch those eggs, get anywhere from 70 to 95-ish thousand Stardust, which is always a big help to gaining more Stardust in the game. Don't overlook this, it's great. And then also, it's not very often that we get these rocket events where we have so many rocket grunts everywhere. So take advantage of them, find the ones you want, including the Roar Grunt, which is always a unanimously home run hit with all of those dragon Pokemon. There's great dragons in there right now, which we're gonna cover starting here in a second. But most importantly, Giovanni also has the Shadow Heatran. Heatran. Please complete at least one of these, I would suggest. Eventually, at some point, we'll come out into raid battles and we'll have a shiny shadow form that will probably not be for quite some time because we are still only in a couple of the Pokemon that have been quite a far back. So we do have other Pokemon to get through before we get to the shiny Heatran, the shiny Kyogre, and the Groudon in the shadow form, but they're definitely something to consider. And the Heatran with Magma Storm is actually a really effective fire type attacker and something that if you did get a good one would be worth it. If you want to try to get a good one for a meta attacker standpoint and optimize the IVs, catching that Pokemon in sunny or in snowy weather would give you the weather boost, which potentially can help you make it better. So definitely check that out. Okay, so with that said, let's check out the new grunts, and then we'll get to the leaders, and then we'll get to Giovanni's lineup. But as far as the new shadow Pokemon, we have Caterpie, Mankey, Roggenrola, Venipede, Carablast, as well as Shelmet. And the leaders are gonna be Cliff with the Galarian Zigzagoon. We have Sierra with Ralts, and then we're gonna have Arlo with Beldum. And I already have the Shadow Hundo Beldum, but unfortunately I do not have a shiny shadow Pokemon for Beldum. I have the Shadow Hundo, but not the shiny shadow. So I do plan to try to at least get one of those during this time frame. All right, let's jump into the leader lineups. Starting off with the normal Grunt, which can have either the shiny Stantler, we have the Bidoof and the Glammeow. And then also in the second one, you can catch a Meowth coming from this one as well. Remember, Meowth is gonna be a Stardust boost Pokemon. Normal is a pretty easy grunt and one shiny to be caught in the first lineup and second is going to be Meowth. And then next we're going to have the Fire Grunt. In the Fire Grunt we can get Torchic, Darumaka, and Vulpix. And then we're going to have the Water Grunt female which is going to be Sheller. We have the Barboach and the Mudkip. And Mudkip as the Shadow Swampert is a very effective Pokemon so don't overlook this. And the male Water Grunt is going to be a Magic Carp. And then we have the Electric type which is going to be either a Joltik, a Magnemite, or a Blitzel. Remember that the Magnemite Magnemite can have a shiny. I have gotten one shiny from the actual grunts. The grunt shinies are not the most common, but they definitely come about. Then we have the grass type, which could be a Sceptile, a Snover, or a Hoppip. The ice type female is going to be either a Snowrunt, a Sneasel, or a Sandro. And unfortunately, we did lose the Swinub in the Frozen Grunt, which is actually a big loss for us. However, the fighting type is still pretty good. So we are going to get the Machop, we are going to get the Timber, and then we're getting the Mankey, guys. And if you can, 
go after this because just a reminder guys we are going to have Mankey Calm Day coming up in November so you have a couple days all the way until Friday at 8 p.m. to be able to get yourself a Mankey and TM away frustration and then you would be able to evolve it with the move on the future Calm Day. Then we have the Poison type female which can have the Coughing with the Shiny. We have the Hisuian Sneasel and we have the Krogunk. In the Ground type we're going to have the Drillbur, we're going to have the Rhyhorn and the Wooper and the Drillbur and the Rhyhorn are going to be extremely powerful Pokemon in here. For the Flying type we're going to get a Pidgey, we're going to get a Zubat that does have the Shiny or the Starly. In the Psychic type you can get a Solosis as well as a Gothita and for me personally I just skip over this Psychic one. I don't really like these Pokemon. They're not effective. They're not great. So unless I need a mysterious component I am always skipping against this specific typing. Then we have the Bug type can have a Shadow Scyther. We have the new Caterpie and the Venipede. The Rock type now has the Rock and Roller or both of the Fossil Pokemon that were out previously. The Kikiki Grunt for the Ghost is going to have the Drifloon or the Duskull or Golit. And my favorite Grunt of all is going to be the Roar Grunt which is going to be the Dragon Grunt which can have Dratini. It can have Bagon which both can have Shiny Shadows. So that's already a plus. Both of those Pokemon are extremely effective and then finally it can also get the Gibble. Gibble does not have the Shiny out yet but it is also a very effective Pokemon. So for me personally the best Grunt in the game is the Roar Grunt which is the Dragon. The Dark type is going to have the Cacnea. We have have the Alolan version of the Rattata and then we have the Stunky then we have the Steel type which is going to be the Alolan Sandshrew we're going to have the Alolan Diglett and then we are also going to have the Pharaoh Seed and then for the Fairy Grunt we're going to have the Alolan Vulpix we have the Mawile and the Snubble and then the winning is for winners can be one of the Johto starters but for the female one is actually going to be one of the stronger grunts in the game it's always going to be a Snorlax encounter but the backside of this grunts lineup is extremely challenging it could be either a poly Wrath, a Gardevoir, or a Snorlax, and then on the third one can be either a Gyarados, a Dragonite, or also a Snorlax. And then we have the Decoy Grunt, and don't forget that the Decoy Grunt can be a shiny Bellsprout, which is really cool. So those are all of the Grunts. The Roar Grunt is by far the best Grunt for me in the game, as well as the Ground Grunt that can get two really effective Pokemon. But with that said, it always seems to be Wooper. Now let's get on to the leaders. For Cliff, we're gonna have the Zigzagoon. And in the second spot could be either a Marowak, we can get the Aerodactyl or a Venusaur. And then in the third spot, typically it's gonna be the Tyranitar, but you can also get the Obstagoon now, or you can get the Crobat. And then into the Arlo, which is gonna have the Shadow Beldum as the first Pokemon. Then we're gonna get Hypto, Gyarados, or Charizard, followed by what usually is a Scissor, could also be a Snorlax now, or a Meta Gross. And then Sierra has the Ralts. And just as a reminder, guys, if you do get the Sierra and you get a shiny Ralts, so if it's a female, it can go into the Gardevoir. So can the male, but only the male can go into the Gallade. So please make sure to save your male Ralts when you get them just in case you maybe get two of them, then you can evolve it. But I would save that just to make sure that you do have one of each when battling this Pokemon. Then we have the Steelix, the Sableye, and the Melodic in spot two. And then in spot three, we're going to have the Houndoom, we have the Nidoqueen, or the Gardevoir. And finally, last but not least, we are going after Giovanni. Giovanni can have, obviously, as always, its cat. Then we can also get the Rhyperior, we can get the Kingdra, or we can get the Nidoking. And then in the last spot, we are going to be getting ourselves the Heatran. So Heatran is going to be double weak to ground. So just as a reminder, guys, on that one would definitely help you take it down the fastest. So those are all the new leaders in the game, as well as the new Shadow Pokemon. The Shadow Pokemon are nothing too crazy to ride home about, but always good to see new Shiny Shadow Pokemon coming from the leaders. And then we do have the Heatran Shadow for the first time ever in the game. So good luck out there, everybody. Appreciate you guys. To all of my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members, everybody take your support subscription to the next level. I'm going to see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and raiding all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.